12 says 4 thirds to 1 third. What kind of number is this? What kind of fraction? Improper, Improper which means it's a whole number. It can be changed into a mixed number. Um, no, we'll use the Texas dog. Now, we can compare to decide if it's an increase or a decrease. It's 4 thirds to 1 third. What is that? Decrease. Good, decrease. Okay, decrease. Um, let's see. The difference between 4 thirds and 1 third would be what? Third, three, thirds. 3 thirds, good. Is there another way to write 3 thirds? One, good, three so thirds. that is equal to 1. 1 is my top number because remember it's the difference of old and new or original and new. And what's my bottom number? What's my bottom number stand for? Or where do I find it? Original or old. All right. So I need my bottom number. What's my original or old number? Four thirds. Do you want to change this into a decimal or do you want to leave it as a fraction? Decimal, okay. Let's pull to the side. Four divided by three. Three goes into four how many times? Once. Subtract, you get 1. Add a decimal and a 0. 3 goes into 10 how many times? 3 times. And you're writing this down? I see some people not writing. That's 9. We subtract, we get 1. If we did that again, what, what do you notice? It's a repeating number, okay, because it is a third. So... This we can change into 1.33 repeating or 1.3 repeating. Now, whether you'd like to do it with fractions or you'd like to do it with decimals, you still need to divide. And we're just going to have to go through the ugly long division. Top number inside every time. I have a question about this decimal on the outside, though. Good. Change it. So it's a whole number, which means I also have to move this decimal so that it's a whole number. Move it over once. Bring your decimal up. How many times does 13 go into 1? Put a 0. How many times does 13 go into 10? Put a 0. You're writing this down, but I'm seeing some people not writing. How many times? Oh, add a 0. 13 into 100. Nine times is probably, well, ten times is for sure too many. Nine times is probably too many. Let's try, s eight. okay, we'll try eight. Pull to the side, work it out. Eight times three? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Eight times one? Plus one? I'm sorry, plus two is ten. Good. Ooh, just a little bit too many. So it's got to go in seven times. So let's do thirteen times seven. 91. Subtract. How about seven and a half? Borrow. That becomes a nine. That becomes a ten. Ten minus one? Nine. Nine. Nine minus nine? nine. Zero. zero. Okay. Add a zero. Bring it down. You're writing this down, right? Good. It would have to be six times because seven would be 91. So it goes in six times. So nine, um, 13, excuse me, times six. Six times three? 18. I'm glad one person's awake. Six times one is six plus one is seven. That's 78. Subtract. 10 minus eight? Two. Eight minus seven? One. Add a zero. Bring it down. How many times does 13 go into 120? Eight. Uh, it'll go nine times. But I don't really care what nine times 13 is because I have enough to where I can change that into a percent and round if I needed to. So I have 0.769. What do I do to change a decimal into a percent? One, two, 
Now, 76.9 rounds to the nearest whole percent, and it changes to? Good. 77%, and it's a? Decrease. Box or circle your answer, please.